Hello beautiful people on the internet. Today we have a nice replay from a game I played and I was playing a of course Imperius as usual. And our opponent here is a Vangir, a Tryhard. So let's get right into it. We do the standard stuff, you know the drill. And our opponent goes with a weird weird opening. They have the luck of having two animals in their spawn. And what we see here is that <coughs> our spawns are very close together. Which is very scary uh, against Fengir because the swordsman. And I really don't like playing Fengir against Fengir, so... Yeah, bleh. Also, our spawn is very unlucky. Uh, we don't have many fruits. We have some mountains, a whole bunch of them, actually. And this village we can't upgrade yet because no fruit. So, great. Yeah, this is the way you want to start. Uh, yep, they pick a workshop, as to be expected. We get riding very early on because... We want to out-expand our opponent as early as possible because, what the heck, this is not a nice spawn at all. So we are really dependent to not only work on our opponent uh, at our um, economy, but we also need to really get going on this uh, expansion. Uh, do take in mind, uh, all of my games are live games, almost all of them. So I really don't have time to plan out my turns. And that might be surprising because usually you get all of the time you want for a competitive match. And I don't enjoy that all that much because there's just way too much planning getting involved. So I don't usually make optimal plays that's usually connected to this. So do keep that in mind. Don't be a nice. I see comments, I read them. Triple warrior opening. Yep. We see their border. They see us. They get riding as well. So, look at this. They are basically having the same start as we do, but they have more. Um, don't ask me how. But they basically have a way better start than we do it looks like which is very strange to me because they are Wenger the only thing that they don't have that we have is organization and the thing that we have uh, that they have that we don't have is uh, the swordsman tech and you'll see that that is very important um, this is the only difference and I, I'm very impressed by this opponent by how they manage to still keep up the pressure while playing Wenger and because well they are basically one of if, if not the worst tribe in the game uh, so yeah let's continue they kept climbing to get the ruin they see one of our cities and we we decide to shield up. Um, yeah. Don't know what I was thinking, but maybe, just maybe, this one guy can help me gain a foothold in the rest of the map, you know? Ooh, they get uh, That really helps. So they see that. Yep. They decide not to kill my warrior over here. They decide to explore. Which is one choice that they make. Now we are finally getting some momentum here. Trying to get our economy going. They are starting to do the same thing. But we are really out expanding them at the moment. We have double the amount of uh, cities they have. So 
that usually means that we're doing great. But this is Fengir and this is a Vengir tryhard. They have mastered Vengir. Just kidding. Yep. We see that they are not there yet, so we are feeling lucky. And they have another ruin over here. And ruins, they can really swing the game if you are lucky. And that's one thing that, I mean, I for non-competitive games, I really like ruins. But for competitive stuff, this random number generating stuff can really screw up your game. And that's just not fun to me, at least. So, yeah, that that's something I need to... Uh, I wanted to address. Look at the workshop. They really don't want to pick anything other than a workshop, apparently. Killed our first swordsman. Feel good about ourselves. We get mathematics and yeah. That's the that's the thing, right? They don't need much. They just go the army way and it works apparently. I really should have, like, attacked at this point, because they don't have the stuff to support their army. Finally find that loud house. Nice. Yep. They get a catapult. Smack the rider. And, uh, of course, we leave open the door to a uh, capital siege. Definitely planned. My bad. Could have probably done this a bit better. Quite fr frankly, yeah. See, they siege our capital. <laughs> They know they're, it's not going to hold, but that's our main production uh, city, so. And yeah, we are in the lead now with the star production. And yeah, it, still though, they have a way better organized army. And they have just the stuff that they need. Because we just aren't doing much about it. What to say? I think it was this turn that I actually started thinking about what I was doing. Which for me is unique when playing for fun, you know. I don't want to sh get into the, uh, the hassle of planning out every move. But in this case I just really wanted to win. <laughs> Yep, get the workshop over there. Opponent fumbled a little bit with the uh, catapult over there. We start throwing stuff into our defender. Yep, we get roads. You almost can't go wrong with roads. This is a very long turn. Yeah, we start making the moves. We are even behind on. Uh, the giant front and we are finally catching up now yeah as you can see when I actually plan out my my turn I can do some stuff you know here we get the monument get that upgraded get another giant yep. Yep, yep. We get a nice uh, swordsman over there. Get some stuff. Finally get that village. And as you can see, we are whittling down their defenses. But the swordsman, we don't have an answer for yet. <laughs> and you can really see how effective these swordsmen can be when 
fighting against like other units they just bring us in so much value that I really didn't think about when playing against finger so I just started throwing units at them which usually works but <laughs> that's not how it's supposed to be The catapults and the swordsmen are really valuable units in this matchup. Do manage to unseach. And we get archery, which is going to be our primary weapon against the, uh, the giants and the swordsmen, finally. We came up with, a, with an actually good plan. <laughs> do try to unsiege that but we are not able to unfortunately we do get that final lighthouse though i finally find a game where all of the lighthouses are useful what i do want to know though is nope there was not a ruin in any of these fogs okay good to know good to know Yep, archers, archers, archers. Get a workshop. Our economy is booming, but our army is really struggling against the catapults and the swordsmen. Which we already tackled, so let's not get into that anymore. Yep, we start whittling down their units from the back. Even hit the uh, catapult over there. Yep. Get another super unit over there. Whoop, okay. Yep, yep, yep. I'm really not pausing uh, this game a lot because it's just going and I don't want to ruin it by just constantly making remarks about how many misplays I make uh, yeah our opponent really did a good job at defending uh, with their one two three four cities while we absolutely should have been winning with one two three four five six and I mean look at the absolute sp worst spawn that we had in a very long time the city that's over here is very close to Vengir and the other villages are so incredibly far from us while our opponent has just cities close <coughs> And that really bugged me. And it's really one of the things that I really don't like about Polytopia. Is that spawns are just so incredibly unfair. <laughs> but I guess when, when you pick Imperius you shouldn't complain about any of that. Because Imperius is just always good. Basically always good. We finally start making some moves and as you can see all of their units are basically gone except for the catapults and some stuff over here. And even the giant is almost dead. So yeah, it, you can really see that the unit advantage is huge at this point. And now that we are actually doing stuff with the archers, uh, range units, instead of just relying on the stupid rider roads. We can actually fight them instead of just being cowardly pushed into a corner and crying about it. Yeah, that's really what I wanted to say about this game. Even though you can get unlucky, sometimes you really just shouldn't complain about it in this game. I really 
do love this game, but sometimes it can really get on your nerves. And I think that you shouldn't take it too seriously. This game is made for fun. Yeah. They 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 played very well. But they couldn't handle the disadvantage of just being Vengir in general. Which I can totally see why they gave up at that point. They had a better spawn than we did, but Vengir is just so slow to develop that there's just no way for them they to could have like Getting ahead of, a, of us, it's just not possible at all. Yeah. Look at that. What a beautiful game state. Alright, I want to end this video on a, like, uh, a positive note. Um, Polytopia is a great game, and you shouldn't take it too seriously. And... If you really want to not feel the pressure of playing these games, just play against the bots or just play against some of your friends if you have those. If you don't, go make some. Make some friends. Don't try to maximize all of your games and feel salty when stuff goes wrong. Games are made to be fun, not to be too competitive. And I think I really went wrong sometimes with that. And I'm, I'm probably not the only one, so I really wanted to get that out there. Alright, that's it for today. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to do the stuff you know. Like, subscribe, hit the like button, subscribe button, comment get a new car send yourself a birthday gift i don't know do the stuff you love don't complain be happy all right see ya bye